so today in this video we will see like what is the difference between two different activity types we have six different activity types in that we have task dependent activity by default and also we have resource dependent activity so these two is very important for any project so the difference between uh, task dependent and then uh, resource dependent activity we will see practically now in this uh, primavera platform so for that i am just taking some uh, eps and i'm just going to create one project where i'm going to consider only one activity test activity i'm going to consider and for that i'm going to consider only one resource test resource that we will see how to do now so i'm just taking this eps again i'm just going to click this plus icon for creating a new project so just to finish directly and i can uh, rename here so some id and then the project name and then from here you can just go to default Again, you can just go to the calendar seven day work week. This is important for this project. Right click open project. And I'm just going to click only one activity. So T1 with the duration of 10 days. So here the activity calendar, you can remember seven days work week every day 10 hours. So now I'm just going for resources. So here I'm just going to create one resource and I'm just going to have a resource name and I'm just going for a details and again I'm just going to select so some five days calendar. So every day 10 hours of only five days. So this resource is going to have five day calendar. Okay. Now again I'm just going to activity. From here I'm just going to see by general it is like having task dependent. Now I'm just going for uh, resources, add resource that what we created we can uh, assign to this activity so now this is what we have we can go for schedule when we go for schedule we can just uh, put the uh, 7 am here so this is like task dependent activity so the 10 day duration so it is not going to change because task dependent activity depend on the task calendar now again I am just going to make this as a resource dependent. So resource dependent activity will depend on the resource calendar. See now we can able to see how it is changing from 10 days to 13 days. This is what the difference between task dependent and resource dependent. So task dependent activities will depend only on the task calendar whatever the resource calendar. So it won't consider anything apart from the task calendar. But in resource dependent it will directly go to the resource calendar. So that's why we are getting a more duration here. This is what the difference between these two activity types. So kindly understood those things and then make use of it in your project. So why here 13 days it is before we have a seven days calendar. So seven days in the sense like uh, every week seven days, but in resource like every week it is just only five days so that to compensate like it is going for another three days delay. So this is what the difference. So I have found one uh, problem in this uh, project for this activity which means like we have input of 10 days but we can able to see the finish date only for 8 which means it starts on 11 and ends on 18 which means only 8 days it is considering and also here 80 hours it is considering. So again I am just going for schedule so it is not going to change. So what is the mistake? What is the possibility? So only there is an error in the calendar. So I am just going for enterprise and then calendar. So here I am just going to modify. So we have a work week of 10 hours every day. But we need to change that in time period also. If the time period here it is not updated means there we will be getting this kind of error. See here it is not updated. It should not be 8. It should be 10 hours per day and it should be like a 70 hours per week. This is like 7 day work week. That's why. So the month and year not needed. Only day and week we should update at least. We can click OK, OK and then close. Now we can able to see how it is. See now automatically original duration become 8 days. So we can just change that to 10 days. Now we can able to see the dates see 11 and then 20 so it starts on 11 and ends on 20 this is what the right manner we can able to just assign the calendar if any so if you have any error in the calendar then it will reflect same into the project also then it is a big headache so for a big project then you can't able to find where the error what the error also so this you should consider when uh, dealing with any projects i'm just going for schedule now we can able to see so if I'm just going to change this to resource dependent, it will become 14 days, obviously. Before it is just like a 13 days only. Na? Now this is what the accurate thing. So it became 14 days because of the resource calendar of 5 days calendar, 5 into 10. So to compensate that, we need a excess of 4 days. 